Welcome to our latest collective worship. Many of the books in the New Testament of the Bible are letters written by St Paul. He wrote one to a group of people called the Colossians, people who lived in the city of Colossae, and he said that Christians should clothe themselves by putting on wearing compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience. What did he mean? Well, let's just think about one of those words for a minute. Patience. Patience is difficult. We find it hard having to wait for things. How do you feel the week before your birthday or running up to Christmas? When you just really want to open your presents, but you've got to wait. Have your mum or dad or your teacher ever told you that you need to be patient? I wonder if any of you recognise this person. This is a famous campaigner called William. Wilberforce. He had a lot of patience and he also had the courage to care for people and to stand up for what he thought was right, even when many people opposed him. He spent many, many years fighting slavery. Did you know that a few hundred years ago, in fact, 200 years ago, not much more anyway, people in this country thought it was all right to go to different countries, to steal people, to capture them, and then to sell them as slaves. It was a big business, and a lot of people made a lot of money. But little by little, people began to realise this was very wrong. William Wilberforce led a long campaign to get it stopped. He faced a lot of opposition from politicians and businessmen who were making money from the slave trade. William was an ambitious and popular member of Parliament for Yorkshire and he was motivated by his Christian faith. And he persuaded his friends, among them William Pitt, Thomas Clarkson, Hannah Moore and others, to put a bill to Parliament to outlaw the slave trade. This made him very unpopular in the House of Commons among some members of Parliament who represented cities that made a lot of money out of slavery, especially London, Bristol, and Liverpool. The fight led to him being exhausted and really frustrated because he couldn't get anywhere and his bills that he put to the Houses of Parliament all failed. None of them became law. He became ill. He virtually gave up hope. He considered leaving politics forever. But his fiancée, Barbara, convinced him that he was one of the few people able to carry this through. And William, with her support and a new sense of hope, carried on the fight. In time, after many attempts to bring in laws, over 20 years, he was eventually responsible for a bill being passed through Parliament in 1807 that abolished the slave trade in the British Empire forever. But it was a long fight for William Wilberforce. He was exhausted and ill as a result of working hard for this important bill. It was worth it in the end.
William Wilberforce must have had a lot of courage, a lot of determination and a very strong belief that the right thing would happen in the end, although it took a long, long time. Today, we couldn't imagine living in a country that thinks it's possible to own other people like we own a pair of shoes, to own people as slaves, or buy and sell other human beings as if they were our or others' property. So just think about it. Sometimes we can feel tired or sad and feel like giving up when we want something to happen and it doesn't. Sometimes just because we think something is wrong doesn't mean other people will agree with us even if we are right and we might feel we have to give up. Think of a situation in which a group of friends is being unkind to one friend and you are the only person sticking up for them. Sometimes doing the right thing will make us unpopular, but we should still have the courage to do it. And now a prayer. Dear God, we thank you for inspiring people such as William Wilberforce, who fought for what was right. We pray for people in our world today who are treated badly. Help us to see that we need too need the patience and the courage to keep standing up for what is right, even if it makes us unpopular. Amen. Thank you for watching our collective worship and God bless you this week. Goodbye.